Okay, I'm gonna rewrite this, and I have a situation here where I don't understand if this is a double negative or it's just one negative. I'll just show you more um, equation or uh, expression. Okay. So first one is 39 minus 5a minus minus 8 times 7 plus 3a. The other one is, and it depends on which one you got, minus 5a minus, use parentheses instead, 8 times 7 plus 3a close parentheses, close parentheses. Okay. All right. Before we do anything to this right here, we got to get rid of parentheses first. So first, we're going to rewrite 39 minus 5a. A double negative, make one positive. And then parentheses, 8 times 7, and we 56. 8 times 3, and we 24. And you have an 8. Mm -hmm. Now, there is an imaginary one right here always, so we gotta take care of this next. Right, so we're gonna carry that with 39 minus 5a, 1 times 56 will still be 56, 1 times 24a will still be 24a. Last step would come by like terms. So this 39 has no A, this 56 has no A. So we 39 plus 56. That can be you 95. Negative 5A plus 24A. So negative 5 plus 24, that be positive 19. Okay. And that right here is the simplifying expression. Okay. On the right side of this, we have 39 minus 5a minus 88 minus 7 times 8 times 7, 3 plus 3a. So again, we're going to carry this down right here to the bottom. So 39 minus 5a minus 26. 8 times 7 is 56. 8 times 3, that would be 24. A plus 26. Again, there is a 1 right here, always. You know, to move on, take care of parentheses first. So, 39 rewrite, rewrite. Negative 1 times 56 is negative 56. Negative 1 times 24 is negative 24. And we have our 7, 8. And by like terms, 39 has no A, negative 56 has no A. So that would be 39 minus 56, which is negative 17. And we have negative 5a minus 24a. Negative 5 minus 24 is negative 29. And we have an a since both of those are 10. So here is the expression for the second one. It depends on which one you have. And you can see the two ends are completely different. So 